What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves a cool team for you guys today. Actually, we are using one Pokemon that I haven't used in any of my videos yet and that is Beware. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. But it's crazy to say that I haven't used Beware out of all the videos I've made. I made over like 200 Pokemon videos and Beware hasn't been featured on team. It's crazy, but I absolutely love this Pokemon. It's a giant teddy bear, normal and fighting type. It's pretty dope. We're going to get started with him. He's got the fluffy ability, so he takes half damage from direct hitting moves, but double damage from fire moves. So that's like high risk, high reward. It can be very good. And then we got that assault vest for special attacking moves. We got darkest lariat, EQ, ice punch, all for coverage moves. And then we got brick break for our stab move. Right next to him is the one and only Cinderace Life Bureau with that extra belt. This thing's an absolute monster. You guys know plenty about it. Pyro ball, high jump kick, sucker punch, and and bounce. Beyond the face cam is Runa Rigus over here with Wandering Spirit ability, the Yacha Berry, Body Press, Phantom Force, Trick Room, and Stealth Rocks. Corviknight, I haven't used this Pokemon in forever, y'all. I absolutely love Corviknight, though. We got Mirror Armor, Rocky Helmet, Iron Head, Body Press, Bulk Up, and Roost. I love this moveset for this Corviknight. It is amazing. We got Starmie in the bottom left corner, holding that life orb with the analytic ability. Hydro Pump for stab. We also got Trick Room, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam for coverage. Final spot goes to Hatterene over here. This thing is one of our special attackers for team. It's going to be able to roll fine in Trick Room if I set it up with Runarigas. We got the Magic Bounce. We got the Concede Berry. Then we got Dazzling Gleam for stab, Psychic for stab, and then our two coverage moves of Giga Drain and Mystical Fire. But yo, shout out to my boy Anthony for dropping this team. It looks amazing. Cannot wait to get after it. But if you guys want to drop me teams, head in the link in the description below jeans underscore youtube dm me over there go follow my instagram page and guys series 8 comes out february 1st so if you guys want me to play your guys teams make sure they're like series 8 ready because you get one restricted mon and i'm gonna need some teams to do that so like teams like Raquaza team exernius kyoga groudon ho oh lugia Regiram, all those legendaries that are, are been restricted before you can have one of them on your team so seriously i'm going to need teams for series eight to show off so if you guys have any make sure you send them over there but without further ado let's hop on to that rank ladder try to get some wins with this team first battle coming at you guys and before we get started i kind of want to say that uh if you guys are interested in dropping me teams i think the teams i want for series eight the most i think i should get that out of the way and say that is rayquaza exernius i already have a zygarde team on the way uh exernius rayquaza are definitely two and I'm, I can't promise you I'm going to use them if you guys do make them because maybe multiple of you guys are going to make these teams. Um, Palkia, Dialga, they're cool. Uh, who else? Who else? Yavelta, but there's just so many. Chances are if you, if you make one that I did not name there, it will get a higher chance of playing. But I really do want like this four Pokemon up first. I think that will be cool to show off in the video. But seriously, it would mean a lot if you guys can make me some teams so we can get these videos pumping out. But first battle coming at you guys, this guy has Draco Zolt, Metagross, Faramosa, uh, Inteleon, Kikun, and Hindidi. Do I roll Trick Room? I think I roll Trick Room here. It's a rather fast team. Maybe we just roll Runarigus. Bring you. I could bring Beware. I could just bring Beware because I absolutely love this Pokemon. I, I am going to go Corviknight as a, as a lead here. And I kind of I got to bring Hatterene if I'm going to roll Trick Room. And then in the final spot, do I go with Cinder? Or do I go Beware? I absolutely love Beware. I just want I just want to use Beware, but better choice is going to be Cinderace. Obviously, Cinderace is so good all around. He's an absolute beast. But we're going to try to roll Trick Room and show off Beware probably in Battle Number Two or Battle Number Three. But definitely, I want to throw him out here. But it's crazy to me. Like I saw this, I was like, dude, I never used Beware, and I think that Pokemon is so cool. Like Stuffle, the first evolution, and Beware. They are such cool evolutions. Like, the design for him is dope. I love how he's fighting, and he's got giant fists, too. So he'll just put the punch on you. It's hilarious. This guy goes double water with Inteleon and Suicune. I can't believe they haven't changed Suicune's typing to ice yet. I just feel like it should be ice, right? <laughs> that should be a thing. Uh, I can totally go for a trick from here. Uh, what? Does he have taunt? He might have taunt. I'm going to trick room. And I'm going to bulk up as well. I am going to bulk up. I think he might taunt me. If he doesn't, we get off a lovely little trick room. If not, then we bulk up. He's gonna. Oh, Italian's gonna sub. He's gonna sub up. Please tell me Sweetcream's not rocking that uh, taunt. Okay, he's not. That's beautiful. So, free trick room going over here. He'll probably get the burn on me. Watch. He does not. Beautiful. So, we're bulked up. We're bulked up, baby. And we got trick room popping. Defense boosting. Attacks up. Trick room's up. Let's get it. Okay, so now we're out speed. The real, the real thing is, uh, gotta get rid of that, uh, 
I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna drop a stealth rock. I could drop a stealth rock. Kinda tempted to. What other Pokemon do you have? Do you have any flying Pokemon? Do you have any flying Pokemon rocking on your team? Hmm. I think I'll sash with it. Have Zolt. But I think I gotta get rid of you. And then, uh, oh, I don't have any flying moves. It's a little whack. A little whack how we don't have any flying moves. Let me just body press over onto that. Did we double up on the body presses? Yeah, we're gonna double up on the body presses into the Inteleon slot. He's posing a bigger threat. So, Moon Rig is gonna go first. Can he take off that sub? Does he not? Yeah, okay, it does fade. Cool. So, so it ends up fading. Body press come. Core Knight's gonna come out here. This might be with KO. We're defense plus one. Oh, so close, man. So close. Skull's gonna come out from you. You're gonna go after Corbin Knight again. So, Corbin Knight. So, I could roost next turn for free. He's gonna go for a snipe shot. Go after Runerigus, please. Runerigus. No Corbin Knight. Eat. I love you. So, I can roost this turn. Easy. Easy roost here. The body press into you. And then, just roost up. Let's get it. Because Trick Room's gonna be thriving for us. He's gonna be thriving with this Trick Room all day. The body press comes out. Say bye bye to Big Boy and Teleon. That's a huge KO for us. And then I'll be able to get some HP back as well. And I could roost next turn if I wanted to. If I had a flying move, I probably would have Dynamax. Get the max airstream and roll out from there. We do have Iron Head, and we are plus one on tech. Get some nice HP back. The Skull's going to come out here again. So I can roost again if I want to. That's that's my call. And whom are you going to send out, kind sir? I drop into a Phantom Force. I can do a lot here. But I feel like he's just trying to waste out this trigger. He's going to go into Indeed, doobly. And second surge is gonna be popping. Um, I believe I roost again. I can just do an easy roost. He's gonna get a second seeds up. I I just body press over on the sweeping slot. Start doing work on that, and then uh, roost up again. Yeah, they're all special tactics. Like I have my defense boosted. Don't fake me out, hey yo, chill on me. Chill on me. We might be able to eat up a skull. I'm not even gonna lie. Rocky helmet's helping us out there. Body press coming out here. Yeah. Get some damage on that thing. Skull is gonna come over here again. Overnight flinches, and here comes the skull. Oh, uh, we should be able to eat this one up, right? Yep. Thank you very much. I'm just pestering around, doing some pester damage. I am going to set up a stealth rock. In case he wants to swap in and out. And I am going to roost. <laughs> and I am going to roost. Is it as long as I can keep Corviknight uh alive here? If I can just keep Corbin alive, I can potentially get off another Trick Room. It's gonna be huge. Then can just get in Hatterene and win this match. But we're just slowly... Like, this is why I absolutely love Corbin. Right? I love this Pokemon so much. He's so good. He's just all-around beast. Isn't gonna rock an Expanding Force yet. We are roosting. We're just pesting around here. Corbin eats up all day. Not very effective on Corbin. Skull's gonna come out here again. And we say, yo, dude, that's Tasty Snack. I'm gonna roost again. Actually, I'm just gonna Iron Head in this one. Oh, you get a burn? No! <laughs> Stay alive, eat it. Yes! Okay, so we got another turn. Um I am gonna go for a trick room again. And I am going to look for the flinch onto uh Oh no, we're all slower. He's just gonna expand it for us. He's gonna pick up the double KO. Oh man! Uh Hopefully maybe he misses me. Uh we're we're rocking out with this. Come on, let's get off this trick room. Skull's gonna come out here. Go for Corbinite. Oh, Runerig is dead. Surprised he didn't he didn't switch that up and go for Runerigus earlier. I don't have Trick Room, so Cinderace is gonna be our Dynamax Mon. That's fine. The good thing I did bring Cinder. Then of course can come out here. Cinderace should be able to rock out here just fine. And I should be chilling with uh oh I do have the surge. The surge is going to help me out tremendously. The surge is gonna help me out tremendously. I do like that. The so Hatterene's gonna be slowest, what's called gonna be fastest, that's fine. I feel like we just Dynamax Cinderace. Him. Up this map, right? Hatterene. Hatterene. I love Hatterene. I didn't get off the trick room, but then he just we just kind of played it slow. Uh, I could go for a psychic or I can go for a Giga Drain. I feel like we're gonna take damage here, so I'd rather go for the Giga Drain. Hit that. Go for the max darkness, take you out. I'm with it. I'm with this play, and then he'll only have one Pokemon. Does max darkness isn't lower special defense? A yeah, it should, yeah, lowers special defense, which is huge. Because Phantasm lowers defense. We're going to be buzzing here. Because like, this should be able to pick up the KO onto that uh, DD just fine. So we have the extra belt, and then we get the defense drop onto, or special defense drop over on the Suicune. We hit it with the grass, coverage move, which I think it should still KO. We get a bunch of HP back, too. 
What are we gonna do, kind sir? I do have Stealth Rock set up for the, po the next Pokemon to come out. So I kind of like where we're sitting. And I'm glad that I did bring that Cinerace in the back. So I had options whether it was a... If we had Trick Room Roll, I could go with, in with Tatarine and Dynamax that. But if not, we have Cinerace here chilling in the back. Ready for the Dynamax, and he, you guys already know. I think it's an absolute champ. Absolute champ out here. Right, let's get it. Max Dark is coming out here. Liberio Switch. Yes, sir. Give me that stab. Give me that stab damage. I'm more expert belt now. Give me that KO, baby. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Dude, Cinder is so good. He's ridiculously good. It's insane. Special defense is going to drop. That's lovely. And if this kid can drink a KO, that's going to be easy win. Skulls can come out here. It's easy eats for my boy because we switch typings. Kiki Drink comes out. Take him out. Nope. Nope, no KO. Okay, that's fine. Communicating so Cinder should be fastest no matter what. I do have G Max Fireball. Which is huge. And your final mod, it's going to be the Zolt. Who you are obviously going to die. Stones do dig in. And I think I just go for a gleam here. To get that super effective damage. Good fireball. Cannot fireball. I think I just I think I just darkness over on the slot. I think I just darkness here. This is gonna go after Cinder. And Cinder should be able to outspeed Draco's ult. And I feel like if we hit this, then with the special defense drop and stab with our fairy move, we should be able to pick up double KO. Right? I just need Cinder to outspeed, and I think he would. Unless this thing was Choice Scarf, but when he's Dynamax, he's not. This thing's definitely Life Orb and what is it, Hustle? Is that, that, is that the ability? Like Durant used to have it too. But we are gonna go first, that's huge. Max Dark is gonna come in here. You should be fine here, because you're gonna, you gotta target onto the what's called. You're gonna wanna target onto the, the Cinder, right? Push the defense drop. Come on, Hatterene, I need you here. I need Hatterene here. Hatterene will definitely take out Suicune. I'm not sure about the Drake result. It goes the worm one. Obviously, it's going after Cinder. Cinder's dead. Come on, Hat. Come on, Hatterene. Need you here, girl. Need you here, girl. I know we're eating up this next shot. 100%. 100% we're eating up this next shot. This thing does take some life or damage. Snarl. Oh, 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 there. Oh, you snarled, man. Clean. Do some dirty work. Dude, the snarl just won him the game, didn't it? Did the snarl just win him this game? Do I protect? I don't have protect. I do not have protect. We just lost because of a snarl. Oh, man. We just lost because of a snarl. I'd protect us. GG. We just lost because of a snarl. Here's the lightning. Eat it. Eat it. Hatterene, let's go, girl. Oh, my lord. Dude, he really snarled there instead of scalding. We just lost because of that. Yo, GG. GG. Strong first battle, though. Very strong first battle. I thought we had that one in the bag. Yo, this dude snarls and wins it off that. Oh, Life Orb, we would have survived. We would have survived anyway. But, yo, GG. We're 0-1. We can hop through our second battle. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy's got a pretty solid team right here with Togekiss, Incineroar, Porygon Z, Adaptability, obviously. The Dust Cops for a Trick Room, Rillaboom, and Tyranitar. And I was just looking at these Pokemon stats, and not all of them are full on Dynamax Candy. Only one of them. And it is my boy, Beware. So hopefully we can still pick up a win. That's kind of tough. They are all EV trained, but I wish they were Dynamax Candy. So, Anthony, if you do send me another team, make sure they're Dynamax Candy so we can get the fullest uh, advantage out of these guys. Or the fullest potential on them. But it's all good. Don't worry about it. Um, who should I go in first turn? I don't want to get Beware going. I kind of want a Dynamax Beware now, considering he's just, like, the only one fully on Dynamax candies. Hmm. I'm gonna go Clops. He could go Clops. Do I really see him doing that, though? Definitely want to go Corviknight. I feel like Corviknight rocks out here. And we are gonna go with Beware. I am gonna, I am gonna leave Beware. Bring Cinder and Starmie or Hatterene and Case Tricker. I mean, Hatterene and Case Tricker is pretty good. Yeah, we're going to go Hatterene and Case Trick Room and rock out from there. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here. So we got Corbo and Beware getting that lead. We got Cinderace in the back end. I'm probably going to try to Dynamax Beware only because of the, the uh, Dynamax Candy situation. But actually, we would have we would have won that first match if Cinderace was Dynamax Candy, right? He would have did more damage. 
to that Draco's ult and we would have won. But it's all good. It's really not that big of a deal to me. He's gonna go Titar and uh and Toe Kiss here. That's totally fine with me. And we're gonna go Beware and my boy Corvo. Sandstorm's getting out here. Yo, you sandstorm me. But Corvo won't be touched by it, which is pretty nice. Might Dynamax. Uh let's see what he does. We do have body press. We do have a lovely little body press. We do have a lovely little iron head here too. So I'm gonna iron head over onto you. I think Titar is going to be the uh the Dynamax Pokemon. I might just Ice Punch. I could drop an EQ. Maybe Brick Break. I was going to double up into the Togeka slot. I don't want to Brick Break and just have a... Uh... I don't want to Brick Break and just have a Follow Me come out here. Oh, yes. He's going to Protect. That is a lovely little turn. Lovely first turn by me. Good after us. That's going to be going to pop here. But where should we be able to eat? Yep. Thank you, but where? We're getting after it. Dang, dude, I could have, like, bulked up or something. Iron Head's gonna come out here. And we're gonna waste his, uh, berry. That's pretty nice. We're gonna waste his berry. And, yeah, so this thing's not policy. Huge. I, th I think that T-Tar's policy. Ice Punch coming through. Oh, getting some work done. Freeze him. Give him the freeze. Give him the freeze. Look, it's gonna take some buffets. And I can just drop into a, uh... I can just drop into an easy Iron Head for the KO. And then I could just... Mm, just ice punch over on you. Try to get a freeze. I don't want to really proc the policy. Actually, I am going to brick break here. I am going to brick break here. I don't think he's going to die next this thing. So I am going to brick break. And he is going to die. Mm. Ah! Hate this game. Hate it so much, man. I hate this game. We are going to proc the policy. I, I'm guessing he's policy. Oh, he's orb. I'm kind of hoping he's orb. I don't want to set him up on a policy. But what's going to sugar down here, no problem. Focus. Probably going to go for a follow me, but what's called is going to go first. Oh, Smart Shark coming in. Okay, he's going to proc his own policy, so he was doing that regardless. He was doing that regardless, so good thing we are going into this. We're going to be able to take off Tokus here. And Beware should go second. No, he goes first. D. Rock. D. Not liking that, but we're going. Right, so Beware's down. Iron Head should be able to come out here and pick up the KO here, which is nice and lovely. Iron Head. Oh, you Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, so T-Tar's bulked up. He's bulked up pretty well here. Uh, Cinerace can come out here. It's tough because the only move I can use. I do want to speed it, so I think I might just bounce. If I bounce and waste a turn? Shoot, man. He gets out Intimidate. We are going to bounce out back him. Pretty nice. He could bounce and dodge a turn. But he's probably going to fake me out. Right? Probably going to fake me out. So in that case, I might bolt. Or I can just go into a body first. I think I'd rather bulk here, because he's going to go for the, the fake out flinch. I am going to try to bounce. I'm going to try to bounce the dodge a turn. He's going to fake out onto my core right? Yeah. I just saw that coming. And I'm going to be able to bounce here. And waste a turn. That, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice that we are going to be able to waste a turn here. Because he should be coming after my, my Cinderace slot with a rock ball. Right? That should be a fact. Yes. So pretty dope. Over flinches, buffets are coming out. Uh, do I just roost here? Do I bulk up? I think I'm just roosting. We're bulking up. Could roost because he is going to go into a. Uh, I'm actually just going to go into a body press here. Because he is going to go into a flare blitz, but he is minus one. Not going to come down here. I should be able to take him out with a body press, no problem. He can take out my Cinderace all day. Oh, we do get the para. I do like that a lot. Here comes the rock ball, so no more turns left on him. I am going to go into my what's called. Oh, you are going to go after my Corvo. You are going to go after my Corvo. I am minus one. I am going to bring out my what's called. Oh, and he's paralyzed for turn. That's huge. I am going to have to Dynamax my, uh, my what's called. My Hatterene. Do you have any Dynamax candies? Hopefully. Let's see what you got, girl. You have none. E. You have none. Okay. No D-Max candies. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to work with that. 
We're gonna have to work with that. Get it, Hatch. All right, Hatterene, you're coming out of here. Uh, do I see a protect coming out from him? Possibly, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, G-Max might. Let's throw some confusions out here. We're gonna drop that anyway. And I think I just drop a... We go for that high jump kick. The KO here. Yes. Yeah. We go for that high jump kick. Come on, Cinder. I need you to land. He's gonna withdraw you. That's totally fine. We got Z. Oh, we got Yo. Land this. Land this, baby. Land this high jump kick. I need him to just bang. Hit him hard. We're gonna get the confusions out here, too. But we're looking for this win, baby. Come on. I want this win so bad. With, with nine Dynamax candies and Master Ball, dear. Come on. That'd be huge. That'd be huge. Alright, let's see what he does here. The bounces did come up big for us. High jump kick, land. I bro change. Come on, land, land, land. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes, sir. He's landing this, baby. Get some damage on that thing. Take him out. Even when we are minus one. Oh! He'd love to see it. He's gonna minus one us again. Oxide's gonna come out here. Who dodged it? Hatterene. Oh, I love you, Hatterene. Hatterene dodges it. Cinderace is able to eat. And G Max Smite should be able to pick up. Oh, should be able to pick up the KO, right? Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go, yo. We are on. We're on the ball. That's GG's. That's GG's. All he has is Incineroar left. Yo. No Dynamax candies, and we're buzzing out here. You guys know the deal. You guys know the deal. That's how we do it over here. For the jeans on and on gaming community, baby. How we do it for you guys. This is all for you guys. Let's get it. I like his name. Fuegos. Fuegos. Intimidate. No drops in race again. That's totally fine. And now I'm a just G Max Smite. Do -do 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 -boo -boo -do -boo. I'll go for a high jump kick again if I can. So I cancel the battle, kind sir. I still think a minus two high jump kick will pick up KO. Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of here. GG, baby. GG. Cinderace is still OP even when he's minus two. One and one, we can hop into our third and final battle. Look for that winning record. This guy's got a cool looking team considering he's got Nido King on the top. And Nido King is a little, uh, little sprite. It looks insane. It just looks so dope. He looks ready to battle, ready to get after it. He also got Urshfu, Thunderous, Tapu Fini, Reggie Rock, and Dust Clops. All right. Uh, kind of want to bring him Beware. I love Beware. I don't want to get him rolling. I do want to bring in my Hatterene in the back, just in case Trick Room does get rolling from his side. But I am going to lead the Beware. Uh, let me see the speeds on the squad. I don't think I really checked the speeds yet. 70, 180, obviously. 5. Runeri gets 50. 79. So, two fastest are going to be you two. I kind of want to lead you two. I, mean, I kind of want to lead Sarmi with Beware. Bring Hats. And then get Cinder popping. He might lead Thunders, and in that case, I don't really like it. Hmm. Do I have protect on you? Do I have protect on you? I don't think I do. Do not. We do have Trick Room. We can't counteract a Trick Room. You don't want you in the first spot. I don't want to put thing is, I don't want him going Thunders, and Thunders isn't a viable option. Here. I think we're going to rock out with that. Hmm. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, I'm saying he goes trick. Actually, no, I don't think he goes trick. Actually, he might. He's probably gonna bring trick room team. I'm hoping he doesn't go with that thunderous enough on spot. That'd be scary. That'd be scary considering I got my life orb Starmie out here. I would love to get some shots off with this thing. We got Starmie and Beware rocking out in the front. Uh, who are you gonna go? Anybody but thunderous. Urshfu and Nido King. Okay, fair. Love it. Loves it. Needle King shiny. How is Needle King smaller than Urshfu? Make him bigger. Make him bigger. Like he's the size of Starmie. Make him bigger, please. All right, let's get after it. We can Hydro Pump. We can do that. We can do that. We can Brick Break as well. Over on the Urshfu slot. That's what I'm going to do. They're gonna outspeed us. They're gonna get after me. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This is a dark type. That's why fighting is super effective to him. We are fluffy. We are super fluffy. Hydro Pump. Hmm. Hmm, rough start. Real rough start. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. Hydro Pump should have dumped on that Needle King. All dang day. All dang day we should have dumped on that thing. 
We're eating. Brick break coming in through. Oh, did some damage off on that thing. I don't like it one bit. Get out my cinder. Get out my cinder. I'm a sucker punch on that. I'm a sucker punch. Time to go home. Time to get out of my face. It's not very effective, so do I even do it? Get the max. Just airstream. Get speed boost. We're going to another brick break. Nah, I'd rather go for a nice punch over onto the new king. We're going with that. We're going with that, baby. I need my airstream. I need my speed boost. But of course, I missed my hydro pump. Bro, yo, look at the where's face. <laughs> yo, dude, that dude has me dying. Can you imagine being in battle with that thing and that thing just staring you down like that? This is a big boy teddy bear just staring you down. No movements on the arms. Yo, he scratched his chin now. Yo, beware rocked. <laughs> He's so cool. I gotta get a stuffle or a beware plush. Imagine me having a six foot, probably seven foot, beware plush behind me. Just standing in the background. That'd be hilarious. Seven foot beware just standing there with that face. Scratching his chin occasionally. Bro, I'd be losing it. I'd be losing it. But no Dynamax candies on him, so. Does Dynamax candies only affect HP or damage? I'd like to know that. Attack coming out from Urshfu. Uh, I'm totally fine with that. Airstream comes out here. We pick up the KO. We're free. He, we're free 99. No moves coming out from you. I should still be able to pick it up. Yep, and we get that speed boost. We get that speed boost. But I'm kind of mad because Needle King should be dead unless it's sashed. A big old Hydro Pump stab coming out from Starmie. And I'm Life Orb. That was a rough one to take. So let's come through. No, he's taking some mean damage here. We are fast. We are pretty speedy now. Ice Punch comes out here. Oh, oh, thank you, Beware. Thank you, Beware. You are a god sent down from the heavens. I love you, Beware. You're my best friend ever. Big ol' freeze. You know he's gonna thaw out in one turn. I hope not. Let's cops is gonna come through. And go ahead. Yo, do it. Do me a favor. Set a tricker. Set a tricker. Please do it. Please. Uh, do I darkness? I'm gonna darkness. I am going to darkness. And I am gonna finish off this Nido King. Go ahead, please. Set a trick. Please, please, please. Next darkness comes out here. Yo, I need this thing to, to be frozen for a turn. I feel like uh, whenever people are frozen, they thaw out one turn. It's just like a waste of my time. Some nice damage. Some nice damage. Go ahead, set a trick. Please be frozen. Please be frozen. Please be frozen. Please be frozen. I'm not gonna ask again. See, like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I hate this game. I hate it. I hate this game. Freeze does nothing. It shouldn't even be in the game. I swear, every single time they thaw out in one turn. They thaw out in one turn every single time. Ice Punch coming out here. Show me this thing setting up a trick. Show me this thing's going for that trick. Hate this game, man. Dude, freeze is a joke. Set up a trick. Yes. We got our girl hats in the back. But he does have a dynamic switch. Do not like it. You have to see Barry. You get out of here. He's probably like, Hatterene, you brought her? <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Reggie Rock coming out here for the. Ooh, Reggie Rock. E. E. Reggie Rock coming out here. <laughs> Alright, you might pain split him. But is Hatterene slower? That is a question that I dare ask. I think he's gotta come through, try to take out the best cops. I have to go for the freeze, right? No, we're gonna Darkest Slayer over on that. And I'm gonna take you back. Let's go for Psychic. I lower special defense stat, right? Oh, this one's tough, dude. Reggie Rock's gonna win on this one. Dang, man. No, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. At least we did catch a win with this team. At least we did. Actually, yo. First battle, we lost because of a Snarl. And if we had Dynamax candies, I think we would have won that game. And same thing with this one. This team's solid. This team is actually really good. Just needs to be fully uh, leveled up. Bulldoze coming through. You're procking in policy. It's fine. It's fine. Just leave my Hatterene alone. That's all I ask. Who's slower? But where? I know Hatterene's going to be slower than Beware. But I'm hoping Beware is so I can come through. Good, but where? 
Beware, go first. Nope, beware goes ass. Buff moves. Hatterene, eat somehow. Ah, man, beware. Beware's the last one standing. Tanuki Tail, beware. He's going to be able to pick up a KO here, which is pretty cool. But I got I to keep my boy alive. He is fluffy. Hold up. He is fluffy. How much HP does he have? He full on HP? The Dark Slayer. Look at him spinning around. Oh, get him out of here. Beware, dude. I love this Pokemon. I wish he had like a different typing besides normal. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, but where's but where's definitely going here? He's going here and he can't pick up that that first shot KO. GG. GG. I'm actually no, we ain't running. But where? I love you to death, man. Best easy. But we ain't gonna just quit on you. Quake's coming out of here. Not sad. It's not sad. We still don't eat. <laughs> the weakest policy too good. The weakest policy too good. But yo, GG. One and two with this awesome team right here. If it was fully leveled up, we definitely maybe could have got two or even three wins. Shout out to my boy Anthony for dropping this team. Again, I absolutely love it. Yo, something about Beware is just amazing. Such a cool Pokemon. I love its design. Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Just looking at him. But again, this was my first time using him on the rank ladder. But it does show he does have a lot of weaknesses considering he's fighting and normal. And the meta is basically like fairy and flying. Like you just get dumped on left and right by that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously. You guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.